In this quick episode, Ben and I headed up to central Queensland for a long weekend hunt. It was a bit slow, but once he was going, it was definitely going. We got up early and started our hunt but uh, it wasn't until later when we realized we were just up a bit too late and missed all those morning boars on the feeders. Oh, they're 500 meters back that way. The 600 meters that way. Really? 600 meters that way. Bloody antenna's good, it's not bent. Yeah, that other one that's old show shit. Leia is on something. Leia's normally on something. Ringo's not too sure. Look, Leia's leaving us. Looks that's like it. That's right. Mango seems to be coming Grab back. Roger. Looks like Mango might be coming back. Same layer. I think they're just real keen. To, to be honest, they're just... Yeah, they're coming back. The dogs ended up coming back to the ute. They were just super keen to be out and hunting. So we just kept heading around the property, checking all the water holes and just some of the new feeders that they'd put out. She's a very good dog. She's just good all around. Like she's a good home dog, but then she's also a good home dog. What is it? She wanted to go then. Mango. Are there, are there oh, other little tracks? Looks like other little tracks next to her. Yeah, it's recording the red light flashes. Just white fluid. Must be. Oh yeah. Probably done on that. Yeah, you can, you can see him. He's, he's gone this way. It was a bit of a stale morning, so we thought we'd chuck the drone up and just check out a bit of the scenery. Mango's 120 metres that way, Leia's 30. Oh, she, and Hammer's with Leia. Hammer's with Mango. Mm. Oh, Good boy. Mango! Mango! Shockers. Absolute shockers. Come on, Leia. This way. Yes, this way. Come on. Oh, Jesus, dog. Leia always goes looking for any of the dogs that we might be looking for. She just knows when we're out looking for dogs born a bit haywall. Yeah. She's definitely pigs. Yeah, pigs are long. Yeah, pigs are long. Yeah, they are. didn't see any again. If you see it in the water, that means that it hasn't. That's normally the same to wash it away. Yeah. Good water. Oh, oh boy. You're right, Blue? Let's have 
I don't mind this kind of creek, it's a little bit tough. It's cool. Oh, cool on that other creek is hot. Yeah, there's no water. There's no water. No. Whereas here there's heaps of signs. See, look, engine. Let's see if I can get that on the camera. There's a big wall. There it is. Look at that, it's just run up. Where does it run? Lots of sign definitely in the creek, but we still had no luck by this point. So we're just out and we're trying to get across to another side and we've just gotten muddy bogged in the sand. Oh, layer. In a sand pit. Anyway. The joys. That big tree looks nice, or well, you're not fast. Birds. It's not pulling, it's not, it's not letting loose. Can you see what's going on there? Just when we thought our day couldn't get any worse, our winch decided to stop working. Probably not at the best spot. It's not really pulling you up, hey. Huh? It's not pulling you up. It's not even pulling in. Are you gonna, do you wanna? Yeah. So I think I spoke too soon on the whole bog getting you out of it Hammer. not having a fight um well we got there in the end um we were all the way down there we realized we weren't getting out at all our winch just broke on us she stopped working um yeah anyway let's leave that in another day we just went to check a dam but before we got there i was moving a log and there was a big brown snake and I probably screamed loud enough to scare every pig away that's in like a 1k radius so um, there was a heap of sign at the dam just no pig because yeah, no <laughs> I think um, pushing up along this road yeah no the last time we drove this road was what nearly two years ago yeah it's been a while Obviously, there's trees all over the road, so yeah. keep pushing along. There's a dam up here, so we'll go check that out. So we're up another couple of days. I hope the pigs ran to this dam because <laughs> I am. Um, yeah. yeah, we'll see how we go. The dogs took off earlier, but um, it seemed like they were bailing one about a k out, but mm -hmm. we didn't get there in time. No. So, um, I think we like to say we're fit people, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, um, it's hard on the ute, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And we're out with the ute too, so... Sorry? Maybe the ute to the Yeah. This is what we're currently driving through. It actually was worse, probably about a K back. Um, what, so two years ago was probably the last time we drove this road. And it doesn't yeah, get driven. Yeah, it's a couple of years, I reckon. Anyway, I'm hoping my squealing and screaming, that was very unnecessary because you, you don't do that when you see a snake. Um, hopefully I may have pushed the pigs up to this next dam, so we'll find out. There was an absolute shocker of a day, so we thought we'd pack up camp, pack up all the camera gear and head over to another property. Little did we know we were about to hit up a couple mobs of pigs. The girls are on! <laughs> Good girl, Mango! <laughs> Good dogs. So we're just on our way to um, another property, not too far from here, and of course, after a very um, rough start to the hunting trip of when we're on our drive out with none of our camera gear set up, ready to go or anything flash, we see a big mob of, mob of pigs and. Um, yeah, the dog's got on one little mango. She's only oh, just over a year old. Um, never did really much honey until we took her away for a big trip last year to the Cape, which was eight months and 
yeah, she's a very fast, very fast little girl um, who has an absolute passion for um, hunting. So, yeah, it's, um, it was a good, good little incentive to end the day and the dogs are pretty hungry, so, you know, old Plude, the old boy comes in at the end, the veteran, he, um, he's 12, so he's been hunting his whole life. Um, he's absolute prime hunting dog in his time, but in retirement, he just comes along for the joy ride. Anyway, so yeah, good win for the dogs on the way out, but, and a good win for us, but I guess get all the flash gear and we had nothing set up ready to go. We we're just lucky we still had the dogs plated up. Blue! Get it, Mango! Oh! Get it, girl! Get it! Come on! Come jump in I can't believe they lost that. This is ridiculous. What? Yeah, it's just a night time. Maybe we can stay. Some of us feel like there's more up there too. Where are they? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to. So they are 190 meters straight yeah. ahead. Just straight ahead, pretty much in that forest. So I reckon if we go up that, go power, up that line. power line. <laughs> the dogs were like, this is too good to be true. Oh, the oh, kids were at the feeder. They were just there. Yeah. And they didn't even move, they ran and no, then they, they stopped. Didn't. They're 100 meters. Just from there. That was crazy. Right. 80 meters just up in there. Hey, yeah, 50 meters just in front of us. 30 meters. Oh, just here. Just watch this big log in front of me. <laughs> Holy shit! I cannot believe that. So not even another. How far did we drive, Doc? Probably five minutes, Another five minutes up the road and we came up to a feeder that's just on the way out and there was, how many do you reckon was in that mob? Probably 15. Good 15 in that mob and at first the dogs, you know, they ran up and they were kind of shocked because the pigs didn't really do much. They just kind of stared at the dogs and then, and then all of a sudden it went a bit chaotic as you would have seen but yeah it was just funny the pigs just kind of stopped and stared at the dogs and the dogs didn't really know what to do at that point because they're just so used to having to chase, chase, chase. It was a bit strange, but what do you reckon, Dal? Happy? Yeah. Bloody <laughs> uh, So day two, out and about, we're just on a property at Injun. Yesterday we were all up at Mount Moffat, so it was a bit cooler in the morning, whereas today it's actually quite nice. Um, Last night, as we were leaving the pro other property, we encountered two mobs of pigs, which caught us greatly of surprise. One of them was on the, one mob was on the feeder, and it was yeah, 15 of them. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, the dogs just had no idea what to do because they pigs weren't kind of stood to fight. But Mango, our little one, um, <laughs> she didn't really care that they were trying to fight them. She just wanted to <laughs> catch a pig. So um, that was kind of funny to watch, but I didn't get really, the footage that you would have seen wasn't great because I just was too excited and I forgot that I was holding a camera. So anyway. By this point, we were bugging. The traveler caught up to us on this short little trip, so we thought it was time to head home. Little did we know we we're going to get a bad batch of fuel and end up in Roma for the night, changing fuel filters on the east a long weekend. But hey, it is what it is. Mm -hmm.